Hi, my name is Andres Carrillo and I work for Clearview Imaging as an Applications Engineer. Today I'm going to show you a quick introduction to Matrox Design Assistant 4, an exciting flowchart-based development environment that allows you to create vision applications in a nice and interactive way without needing to write any line of code. Design Assistant is based on the industrial proven mill library from Matrox, so the performance of your application is guaranteed. Design Assistant allows you to deploy solutions to either the Iris GT smart camera from Matrox or whatever PC-based system, and it's also compatible with all the range of USB 3 or Gigi Vision Genicam compliant cameras. With Design Assistant, the application is developed by creating flowcharts, as you can see on the screen. Each step of the flowchart corresponds to a machine vision algorithm that can be customized to suit your needs. Once the flowchart has been created, you can move to the operator view, which is a HMI that will allow you to see the results of your program and also interact with the vision system. Finally, you can deploy your application either to a smart camera or to your vision PC. Now, as a part of a quick tutorial series that we are launching, I will show you how to use Blob Analysis on Design Assistant. First of all, we need to connect to a development platform, which can be either our PC or an Irish GT smart camera. Once we are connected, we'll create our project and we'll have access to the main screen of Design Assistant. For this tutorial, we'll create a coin counter using blob analysis to detect regions that differ in properties compared to surrounding regions. For that, we've already taken three images from the camera and selected them as our camera source. You can also select the camera image if you want live images from the camera. The next step will be to select the algorithm we want to use. So, if we double click on the arrow, a pop up window will show all the steps we can choose. We'll select the blob analysis step for our demo. Now, at the bottom of the screen, we can customize the setting of our algorithm. For our demo, we just want to identify 20 pence coins, so in our results, will include just the blobs whose perimeter is within a certain range. We'll also specify a threshold for our blob detection. If we open the histogram of the image, we can differentiate two values. The darker one is for the background and the other for the coins. So we'll use a threshold in the middle of those values. Now, we select the features that we want to show in the results. We we'll select area, perimeter and bounding box for each blob. Once this is done, we we'll select the image that we want to display on the operator view and the annotations for the blobs. After that, we we'll run the flowchart to see if the results are the desired ones. Once we are happy with our results, we can create and customize a nice graphic user interface. For this demo, we'll display the resulting images from the blob analysis and their annotations. We'll also count the total of coins that are valid and the accumulated amount of money that we have. For each image, we will have a pass or fail condition that will show whether our desired coins are in the image or not.
Finally, we'll deploy our project to run it as our main application at full speed. And that's all. I hope you've enjoyed it and see you on the next video.